Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Brooke for anyone that's new here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys a few things that I got yesterday. Yesterday I was supposed to be filming a day in my life video and I had all intentions on doing so. And then when I got into my car to like run errands since I had a day off, my camera was dead. So I didn't get to film, I didn't have time to come home and charge my camera to bring you guys with me. But um, yeah, so... I'm like literally so mad at myself for actually not having my camera charged and not bringing it with me yesterday because like the craziest thing happened to me and I'm not even joking you. So um, quick rundown on what I did yesterday and then I'll tell you guys what happened so you'll have to stay to find out. I am going to grad school. Classes start like two weeks from tomorrow and for my field placement I need to have business casual clothes because I will be in a school setting so yesterday I got to go and get a few things just to start but I need to go back like this before I move into my apartment um, to get more clothes and stuff because I just didn't really feel like sitting there trying on a million and one things because everything fits so differently for business casual than like regular clothes that I'm used to wearing and I couldn't really find anything that I truly loved like I didn't find things that I felt like it was like my style and I get that it's like business casual so it's not really um what I would tend to wear on an average day but it was fun trying some business pants on and looking for shirts I I really didn't find any that I like love but I'll show you guys what I did get um and honestly all the places that I went to get these business pants and business clothes were really affordable which was great just because I'm gonna want a lot of them because I have a field in field placement for a full year for two years so I'm gonna need it anyway so I might as well have like a wardrobe for that but yeah I'll just show you guys what I got but I will give you guys a quick little rundown on what happened yesterday and what I did yesterday which was so yeah so I was supposed to film like I said and I didn't and I wish I did because after I was like doing all that I had to go get my car inspected and just a bunch of like boring stuff then I went to dinner with my mom and we were at dinner and my little sister called me and was like Peter Rubber from the, this past season, uh, past season of The Bachelorette he was on Hannah season um he was top three he um was in my hometown area which is just like okay that's awesome that's so cool so I was like well how'd you know that and she was like I looked on his Instagram story and he's at the Great Escape which is in Queensbury like Lake George area um and she was like yeah so like he's in the area and I was like oh cool like that's pretty cool not really thinking anything of it because like okay he's at the Great Escape I'm not going to the music park to go find him you know so I'm at dinner and my sister calls me again and was like oh my god I'm at ice the ice cream place there's an ice cream place in my town called Martha's and like everyone goes to it it's very well known um I actually used to work there for five years and she's like oh my god I'm at Martha's and Peter is literally in front of me and I was like no he is not like you're kidding I loved Peter and so did my sister Brandy like we were obsessed like we were big Peter fans so I was like you're joking me I was like is he like is he leaving yet and she's like no like if you hurry here you might be able to see him so I was like oh my god super fangirl moment absolutely embarrassing to be honest because I was like mom we need to pay this check right now we, we she like quickly paid the bill when we were at dinner and I'm literally like running through the parking lot to get to her car and I'm like let's go like we have to hurry like whatever so she I'm like floor it <laughs> zooming down the road to get to Martha's and I literally made it just in time I'm like I my mom like pulls up and like lets me out because my little sister and all her friends were over there so I went met up with them and he was walking right by when I was right there so I was so embarrassed and I was like I cannot ask for a picture like I'm embarrassed like I know it's not embarrassing but at the same time I was like I don't want to be that person like I don't want him to be like oh my god like pictures this and that but my sister and her friends already did and so I knew that I would have been really like jealous and regret it if I did not ask for a picture so I was like oh my god hi Peter <laughs> like as if I know him I'm like oh my god hi Peter and he was like hey what's up and then I was like oh my god like I hate to ask but do you mind if I take a picture with you and he was like of course like I would love to take a picture with you and he was so nice, just as nice as he's portrayed on the show. And he was just really, really funny and, like, kind. And he even let me get on my good side on for my picture. I was like, do you mind if we just, like, switch sides? Like, I don't look good on that side. And he was, like, laughing. And then I got to meet his brother. 
and stuff like that and so yeah they were up in new york because they have like a lake house up not in the town that i'm from but like an hour ish maybe more away but they go to the great escape to just enjoy the amusement park every year so it was just so funny and i got a picture with him which i'll insert right here I was honestly I was like great like I'm wearing my glasses like I don't even have like makeup on and I'm meeting him and I wanted a picture and I was like oh my god this is anyway so that was a typical day in my life that turned out to be not so typical and I'm so mad that I did not have my camera charged because my camera with me so that you guys could have seen Peter and it just would have been so fun and cool for the video but you know I'm um, yeah so anyway um Back to the boring part of my day yesterday, the business clothes that I got. I will show you guys the clothes that I got. Start with the shoes that I bought. I just bought one pair yesterday because honestly, like I, my mom was trying to help me pick out business shoes that are like cute and I do not like any of them. And I don't know, they just, these are brutal. Like <laughs> they're so, just not anything I would ever in a million years ever thought I'd be wearing. But they're literally just like these, they're not that bad but these like little tan shoes they're honestly really comfortable and they just like match with a lot so I was figuring that the first pair that I get I'm gonna get like a black pair and then maybe like a fun pair that I actually like I found like these cheetah ones and my mom was like so against it she didn't think it was cute but I thought they would have been really cute but yeah so I got those at Target let me show you guys the clothes that I got and I will do a try on for you guys so you guys can see how they fit and everything like that as well i got these from tj maxx and yeah i don't know what brand they are but they have like little pockets on the back as well and they're just wicked comfy to wear these next pants are also from tj maxx they're just plain black they go a little bit higher than my ankle they're really comfy see what i mean like these shirts guys no they are not my style whatsoever but Whatever. It's such just like a really comfy businessy shirt that ties on the side. Um yeah, I got the shirt from JC Penney's. Alright, and you can see my sports bra through this just because I didn't change my um yeah. But this shirt has just little ruffle sleeves. This is also from TJ Mac or not TJ Max, I'm sorry, JC Penny. And then I got these um gray, just plain business pants that go above the ankle again so I can wear them with flats and make them cute and they're just it's just like a plain simple outfit these pants are from the gap and they're actually really 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 nice and they're great material and comfy as well again all the pants that I bought I made sure to buy only comfortable pants because I honestly hate jeans and stuff like that so this is a good fit just a plain simple little outfit Obviously, this is not part of the shirt, <laughs> shirts, but these next pants I got are from Old Navy, and um, they're just green. I got the same exact pair in um, blue, navy blue. Um, I'll just show you guys them because they're the exact same pair, so they're going to fit the same, but they're just blue. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. And then they go above my ankle. Actually... These ones go like pretty much to my ankle and they have like a slit up the side again. Um, they're just really comfortable and I can just do a lot with them obviously. I wanted like different colors as you'll see. So this shirt right here is from JCPenney. Again, it's just more of like a fall one um, with just black pants. Would look good with it. And little shoes. Um, I do like this shirt actually but it's and I like the pink one. I don't love the first one but what are you gonna do those are the um clothes that i got just for now for the business stuff that i need and i don't know if i said this before but my field placement is in a school so it doesn't have to be like businessy with like blazers or anything like that um just like business pants dress pants and a blouse of some sort um like I said, I really had an extremely hard time finding tops. I really don't like any of them. Um, the pink one's okay. It's fine. This one is cute for the fall, I think. But, like, that first one is so bad. And the only reason I got it was because I it was, like, it looked 
it looks probably really bad on the camera but it doesn't look as bad on and in person and I can wear it with different color jeans and stuff or pants and stuff like that just because it's black and white but I really had an extremely hard time finding um shirts that I even kind of liked I went to like literally seven stores and I couldn't find anything so I'm hoping that um, before I go to school, I can look again at the stores and hopefully they have like new shipments and stuff Just because a lot of the shirts that were like blouses just looked very Older ish if you know what I mean Like I just felt like I was shopping where like a mom would shop or like your grandmother would shop and it's just like not me So it was really hard and I don't truly like any of them, but I do like all my pants. Um, they're really comfortable TJ Maxx Target or no, where did I go? TJ Maxx Target for shoes, Old Navy, and Gap. And um, I did look in Banana Republic because I heard that they would have some good business clothes. But again, the shirts there were just not my style. And I know I'm not going to really find a style that I'm like, wow, I love this. Like, it's like business clothes, you know? But I just, the Banana Republic was a lot of like older styles as well. So um, I did see some good ones that I liked at TJ Maxx, but their shipment was like pretty much out. So hopefully once they have a new shipment this week, I'll be able to find some that I actually like and that I feel comfortable wearing and it doesn't make me look like double my age for my outfit. <laughs> Do you know, like I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Like it's just like really hard to find business clothes that I actually feel comfortable in and that I like. But the pants, I did like them all. Um, this one is like more of a sweatery shirt the one that I'm wearing so it's like it's fine for like the fall and like you can wear your hair up with it and stuff like that you know but I don't know that's just my mini little business haul for you guys um and my story about meeting Peter Weber and it was amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have a video coming tomorrow and I have like three videos coming next week. I'm really excited to show you guys the moving with me vlog and all of that kind of stuff. And then tomorrow I'm going to take you guys hiking with me to show you a little bit more where I'm from and what I like to do in the summer, especially something that's like good for you and um, isn't necessarily going to the gym, but it's still like working out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos for this coming week and next week as well. Um, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!